Hello friends, I'm Ashish Sarbari, founder and CEO of Axmise. To our new listeners, welcome to our old ones, welcome back. Today I will be talking about a very exciting topic, abstraction. And I have made a challenge for myself to, to talk about it in less than seven minutes. So let's see how it goes. So I'll be honest. I came to know about abstraction in a course on logic programming many years ago in my master's program in Dresden. But over the years, I have begun to appreciate its value. And I would also share a personal story about um, how, I, how I was introduced um, to abstraction uh, in my master's course. So I did my first uh, degree in electrical engineering and precision was the key as it is in most engineering. And abstraction was a rather difficult concept to understand in the first instance. And to make it even more interesting, I came to know of this through uh, the course on logic programming. Um, and we were being taught about abstract interpretations and Galois connection uh, and a classic paper from Cusel and Cusel. Uh, trust me, if you did four years of electrical engineering, looking at high voltage engineering, uh, linear and non-linear control theory, and electronics, um, this made me feel like I'd come to a different planet altogether. Um, the bottom line is that we do need to understand these complex concepts, but not by getting introduced to these through Galois connection as the way uh, to learn these. Uh, at least this is not going to be easy for everyone. Now, I am going to be talking about abstraction in my webinar next month. It's called the ABC of Formal Verification, and it is on 11th of February. It's hosted by Siemens EDA, and Joe Hupsey and I would be talking about uh, this topic. Uh, I would be talking about abstraction, um, bug hunting, and building proofs of bug absence and coverage. So let's talk about abstraction again. So it, it in a simplified form, it is the art of just simplifying complexity. So we simply focus on things that are relevant. Um, using abstraction, we can build different perspectives of the same problem. So let's look at an example. Let's say I need to attend um, a conference in the US, present a paper in the US. Um, don't worry, I'm not traveling yet and I know we are going through a pandemic. <laughs> but the goal I need to meet, let's say, is a scheduling problem that I'm looking to solve. If we were living in normal times, immediately I know I will need to travel and would need a hotel to stay. So I know what I need is to organize the travel and logistics of stay. But at this point, I'm not thinking of which airline I'm going to use, how many stopovers I will or won't make, whether I travel out of Heathrow or Gatwick Airport. In short, I'm not concerned with the hows at this point, only focused on what. Even for thinking about what, I'm only thinking at an abstract level that I need to travel by air and need a hotel. Now let's get more precise and add more details. So let's say I would like to take a direct flight from Heathrow to San Jose, and I will not do a layover and will stay at a hotel near to the airport, but don't care at this point which one. This is now refining our original high-level abstract plan with more details. Let's refine it further and describe whether it I will take a lift from a friend, take the London taxi, or ask my favorite cab company to pick me up to get me to Heathrow. Of course, the decision is impacted by cost and the availability of different options. And at this point, I may also be thinking of expanding more on the details of what type of flight, economy, premium economy, or business, which hotel, the type of room I may choose at the hotel. This is now a second level of refinement to our original intent of presenting a paper in a conference in the US. We can, of course, keep adding more detail now on what mode of transport I will take from the San Jose airport to the hotel, whether I will meet colleagues, business friends, and when, and if there's going to be a conflict in my meetings. Now you will notice, as you go along refining and adding more detail to the original plan, we are looking at new problems to solve. For example, a conflict resolution between my meetings, which was not originally the first thing that I thought of when I said to you, I want to present a paper in a conference in the U.S., but you will notice three things here. I defined a top level goal, a problem I'm looking to solve and started off secondly by describing what it is as a smaller goals. And thirdly, refining and adding more detail as I go along 
in an attempt to get a solution for the scheduling problem. This process of abstraction driven problem reduction and refinement is one of the foundations of successful formal verification. Well, I would argue not just for formal, but this is also needed for programming software or hardware and in general, a great technique for any problem solving. You will also notice how I started off by focusing on the what first and then adding the how as we go along. Another technique that I use a lot in my formal verification work. You will also note that there isn't always a unique refinement for the top level abstraction. For example, by having choices, we introduce non-determinism in selecting which path we want to use more in depth. Also, determining a complete set of next step refinements and understanding that we haven't missed on any vital refinement step is also not easy to do. do. Though for the example um, I'm talking about, it is not that hard. So anyways, if any of this made sense to you today and you would like to learn more about abstraction, come and talk to us. We can share the cutting edge formal verification methodology with you in our training program where abstraction is one of the first things we teach. Meanwhile, go ahead and register for the free webinar on axiomize.com slash webinars. If you need help finding more information and papers on abstraction, let us know by emailing us at info at axiomize.com. Other than that, I wish you well and thank you again for listening to us and we will be back next week. 